going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about my experiences at uh, the Yatebe Arena AOC. Uh, if you don't know what AOC stands for, it's Asian On Road Championships, and it's kind of like a Scotty Ernst production. Uh, it was well done. Had such a fun time. I got to meet some really wonderful people. I got to meet guys like uh, Patrick Perkins and uh, Alan Hewitt, who uh, both helped me out with uh, uh, setup suggestions and you know looked over my car if I had any questions, which was great. Um, my overall experience it was wonderful. It was well organized. Uh, you know the announcing really got your heart beating. You know even though if it was just for a qualifying run, it was it was great. Scotty does a wonderful job. Uh, for guys that have never gone to such an event, uh, that be it, you know, an AOC or a regional or Roar event, whatever it might be, there's a few things to consider. Um, you want to really consider how many classes you want to run. Uh, I decided to run two classes, which ended up being a handful because I was running like 112 scale when touring. And so they're at opposite ends of the spectrum. So I needed to do maintenance on one car. And do maintenance on the other so i was just going back and forth trying to get everything all tuned and ready and it was just a real hassle i highly suggest uh, depending on how much time you have uh, or how well you are prepared um, i thought i was prepared but i guess i wasn't really prepared for such high traction levels which required me to do so many setup changes um, I, I would suggest running just one class um, another thing is uh, during your practice sessions there's going to be a ton of guys out on the driver's stand uh, especially, you know, the cars are going to be whizzing around on their courses. You want to be really careful, be, uh, you know, be really defensive, you know, offensive. Just be really alert because, you know, at any point in time, you know, you can be caught up with another car or even damage your car. Uh, going to qualifications, um, the most important thing is, and you'll hear this from the, uh, the announcer's booth, race your own race. Do exactly that. If you're a fast guy and you know and you're coming up behind a slow car, you're going to have to be patient. You're just going to have to understand that this slow car could be a beginner, intermediate, doesn't know exactly what's going on. You're just going to have to be patient and just wait until there's an opening and then go. Uh, another thing is for the slower drivers who have a fast guy coming up behind them, just move out of the way when you feel comfortable. Um, don't try to take yourself out of out of the race or out of the qualification because you have some guy breathing down the back of your neck. Um, just move out of the way uh, at, a, at a place that you feel comfortable at, um, but ideally you want to do it in a safe manner and do it in a controlled manner. Don't, don't move your car erratically out of the way. Just do a nice gradual smooth arc away from the corner that, uh, uh, that will allow both of you uh, to get by cleanly. That's the most important thing is to let each other go by cleanly cleanly um, Because you are on your own clocks and you want to make sure that you finish the race without any contact or any form of Incidents um, That's pretty much it and then when it comes to like the, the races like the mains if it's just a single main or a triple main um just you know just relax don't get stressed out yeah you might get really nervous out of the driver's stand but you know just try to think about something else for a couple of minutes before the actual race starts just take a deep breath and just relax you know for the first couple laps there's going to be a bit of a you know nervousness behind the driving wheel and the trigger finger but just try to calm those things down and just go you know at your own pace uh, usually a lot of guys will crash out first or second corner. So if you're at the back of the pack, I would just sit, wait, and watch what happens. And uh, a good chunk of the time, a lot of guys just simply crash out and you just go right by them. And uh, then they have to try to get by you if that might be the case. But uh, other than that, uh, I just highly, su highly suggest running one class um, just be really familiarized with your setup and preparation. And when it comes to qualification, go on your own time. Don't don't start causing trouble for other people. I, encou I encountered that a lot. Like a lot of guys wouldn't move out of the way for me. Um, and you know, whenever guys came up behind me, I, I knew right away, just move out of the way. And it 
helped out with uh, keeping uh, our qualifications clean and fast. But anyway, so that's my experience. There you have it. Um, yeah, I had a good time. Met lots of great people. Uh, AOC 2016, I'll definitely be there. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to see some new faces out there because it's a wonderful experience and you'll never experience uh, such a race like uh, AOC Japan. It's quite something. All right, see ya. Bye-bye.